Also, let's say you have the triangle and he's strong, it's not working. You can't twist, like I said earlier. Well now, you can isolate this arm again by hooking it and bring the other leg in front of his face and force him to fall down to get the triangle again. Like now I'm gonna sprawl out like I am. And now to really get the tap, I want you to let go and switch to the rear naked choke grip. Have this hand here, up here, and now you're gonna come off and really be able to squeeze into it, right here. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be going over five submissions for a street fight. Without further ado, we're gonna hop right in. The first one, since we're standing up, we got two submissions right off the back, the rear naked choke and the arm triangle. So both of these chokes are really good chokes and you can do from various positions with various grips. I like them a lot. So first we're gonna start with the rear naked choke. The way you do this maneuver is you have to be behind the person first. So let's say uh, if I was managed to get behind him and you're gonna to wanna to put your arm over their body like this. Now for him, he's a little taller. So he's behind him, but he didn't know. I could hit I could hit his knee in a little bit to get this choke in. So right here, I'm gonna put my armpit on his shoulder and then I'm gonna bring my whole arm around his neck. So notice that his neck is in the center of the V of my arm. That's how you want the position to be. So then from here, you're going to make sure this hand clears the shoulder. Then you're going to take your other hand and lift this hand up right by your elbow and bring it in to make this pocket. That's when you're going to take your back hand and knife it right around his head right here. So you don't want to keep up here because he can grab it, but knife it right in. And then you're going to keep tight. And then you're going to push the head forward, push that forward this arm and pull with this to really get the choke. There you go. Also, there's a few other grips, like let's say if I couldn't reach my arm, the rear naked choke grip, which is this one, is the best grip, it's the tightest grip, but let's say you could do like a, uh, you could do a gable grip right here, and then make sure this arm is pressed against his back to get tight, to get the leverage, and then you can squeeze. And you're gonna use your head to lift and push his head forward into the choking arm. But this one is going to be a little bit harder to get more leverage in it. So you can always try to resort back to the hand going behind the head and getting that tight grip. So standing, like I said, we're also going to be going over the triangle, the arm triangle. So for this one, let's say we're in the clinch or something. Let's say we're in the clinch and he doesn't know any clinch work, he doesn't know anything. Well, if I push his arm up and come under, I can shoot this arm right in beside his neck. And now, my arm is flush against his neck and then his arm is going past my shoulder. So now I'm gonna take my left hand and same rear neck control grip, bring it in the pocket of the arm and then bring this hand around by the shoulder and then you're gonna push and squeeze the choke. So I'm gonna do it this side. So I'm gonna show the other side so you can see what it looks like. So like I said, since standing, maybe you can get under, get his arm, basically you wanna get his arm over your head and this arm now through this pocket. So now it's here and then I'm gonna take this hand, put it in the pocket, bring it around. This hand's gonna be pushing on really the arm. You're gonna try to push the arm into the face. You're gonna try to push the arm into the face to get more leverage and pressure. And then you're gonna squeeze. So same thing with this one. You can do a gable grip, same thing. Basically, if I couldn't get the rear naked choke, and let's say we're on the ground, then you could do a grip, but the gamble grip is much harder to pull off with the leverage. Uh, you're not gonna get as much pressure with this grip. So, letting you know, you can't always try to go for the rear naked choke grip. So, another way you can show the rear naked choke is on the ground, from back mount. So, if you're behind the person, you're, let's say you're fighting, you're, oh, you're rubbing, you can get behind him like this, and you want to put both legs in between his legs. These are what's going to be called your hooks in Jiu Jitsu. You do this, or let's say you're fighting, you want to be mean. You can put one leg across, <laughs> one leg across, and then bring this foot over and get like a body triangle. Now it's going to squeeze and distract him so you can get the choke. 
But we're gonna go with our hooks. And there's two methods to do this. Let's say if he was like this, I could hurry up and sink the choke anyway. So same thing, we're gonna make the soft in and you wanna make sure it's under the chin like this. Because if he tucks his chin, now it's harder. It's much harder to do it. So you wanna make sure you can get under his chin. And then same thing, take the soft, snake it around with it. And then squeeze. Uh, also, let's see if I couldn't get this, you could do this grip as well. Same thing, you're gonna press against their back and use your head and shoulder to push their head forward to get it tight. Let's say he's fighting, then you're not gonna get as much. So, you're gonna go for a seat belt grip right here. You're gonna put it, basically you're gonna bring the choking arm over his uh, shoulder and bring the supporting arm under his arm and right here. So not fight it. So now, it's gonna fight and I basically wanna sneak the choking arm under his neck. So I did that by, I have this arm over to try to protect it. And then when I get a chance, he's fighting it, I'm gonna sneak it under. And then I can just let go of this arm, take it out, go in and go for the choke. So another way to do the arm triangle is from mount. And all mount is is when I have my legs over his hips and I'm on top of him. So now, let's say he's trying to fight. All I want to do is try to slip. I want to try to slip one of the punches and get this arm on the inside, right beside his neck and in between his neck and his arm. So now, like that, I'm going to snake my arm through. I'm going to snake it through. And that way, his arm is in between my head and his head. Now, I'm going to get a tight grip with this, this gable grip. And once it's tight, I'm going to step around and step off. Now I'm going to sprawl out like I am. And now to really get the tap, I want you to let go and switch to the rear naked choke grip. Have this hand here, up here, and now you're going to come off and really be able to squeeze into it, right here. So the third submission you can do is something called the Americana. This one also is going to be from Mount. So similar situation, let's say I'm on top. And let's say he's trying to punch his stuff or whatnot. And if I can just separate, isolate an arm. Basically put two hands against one arm and just shove it on the ground. So now I can make sure this top hand is on his wrist. See where I grab his wrist? And then I'm gonna take this left, my left hand and slice it under his elbow. So now from here I can turn his arm in a very awkward position. So from here. I'm going to lift up with my elbow and use my shoulder a little bit to really drive it upward while keeping this arm here and actually bring it downward. So I'm coming in an up downward motion to dislocate his shoulder just like this. And notice how we get the top, I'm really trying to drive it forward and bring this hand back at the same time to really get it. And you really you don't want to do it up here, but you want to keep it down parallel with his shoulder as well to get as much leverage as you can. Fourth submission is gonna be your arm bar. A lot of people mess up on the arm bar, but I'm gonna to try to explain the best way to leverage the arm bar to make it hurt and to break the arm. So the first way you can do it is from mount. So let's say I'm on top. And let's say we're fighting. This time I sort of wanna, I wanna be able to Pin his arm to where I can get my arm underneath his arm. So we're fighting. Let's say, keep going. I want to drop on him and get this arm stressed out like this. See how it stretches across his face? But also I have my arm hooked under. So from here, I'm grabbing his arm. And from here, I'm going to keep my body weight on him. I'm going to take my other leg and bring it up and sort of swipe right around his head to try to sit on my butt like this. You want to be able to spin around all of them. Notice I have his arm still caught and pinned in my body. And now this is when I'm going to put both my legs over. If he's trying to grab his arm, that's when you can put your foot right in his bicep and push to break the grip. Same way if it's already in, you can bring it out to really try to push 
and this time I'm going to bring both arms in to really break his grip. So you want to cross it and bring it right, right at his chin mouth area to have your arms perfect level. And notice I still have his arm pinned with both hands with one hand to make sure it's secure and isolated. Also, you want to make sure this elbow is touching your core. You want it to be above your hip. That way you can really get a lot of uh, pressure on it. So from here, we're going to start leaning back. When I lean back, I want to make sure his thumb, his thumb and his bone is line that is facing up to the sky. You want to stump you don't like this. You want to up facing the sky because the way your arm is made the two bones are aligned like this now, with the stump straight up. That makes it harder on the elbow. From here, you're going to lean back. You're going to put both hands, one on the wrist and the hand. And now, you're going to uncross your legs and lift your hips up while you pull back to you. If this arm comes off the center a little bit, that's good. Now you can push straight to the floor and lift your hips up. So really get it in. So this is what it should look like you're actually in position and you're trying to perform the arm bar. First, like I said, you want to make sure that elbow's close to your stomach, close and above your hip, and it should look like this. Try to resist. So we're stuck in both in. Bring it back, lean back, relax. Bam. And then bring up, keep, keep resisting, keep resisting. <laughs> and then, uh, like that. So, the last submission is gonna be called a triangle. So not the arm triangle, but a triangle choke itself. This one can be mainly pulled off in full guard. So I'm gonna be on my back. So let's say he's trying to punch me. You want to really bring your knees right in his biceps to stop him from punching you. And then you're gonna take one leg and bring it over his arm. So for this one's coming right leg, I'm gonna bring it over his arm like this. And notice how it's in, it's right between his head and shoulder. And now from this position, they're going to try to stand up. So you want to make sure you keep their posture broken down, keep pushing their hands off. And that's when you're going to pull the arm that's in right in front of his face. And now from here, you're going to try to tighten the triangle while twisting, while twisting to this leg that's choking you. So you're going to be here, and then that's when you want to put the squeeze on them. I'm going to do it from this angle so you can see. So, let's... so once I get here, and I can set this right here, I want to turn my body this way. See how my face is in line with this choking leg? You can get more pressure from this angle. And sort of then push your legs out. So let's say from here, he falls over. Well, then that's when we can go to the arm bar. So like I did earlier, go over. If he falls over, I can sit up and grab this arm again. And now, I'm going to bring this leg that was supporting, I'll bring it over space again. And now, same thing, bring here, pull up, right there. Also, let's say you have the triangle and he's strong, it's not working. You can't twist, like I said earlier. Well, now, you can isolate this arm again by hooking it and bring the other leg in front of his face and force him to fall down to get the triangle again like that so that's it for this video i just want to show five basic submissions you can do in a street fight or just rolling sporting whatever <clears throat> make sure if you're trying to use it to defend yourself still know some striking know some kicking and of course obviously you gotta do your grappling you gotta know grappling take up wrestling jiu-jitsu whatever because grappling is a key part of martial arts. Also, if you want to learn more Jikuno martial arts, I'm making a school account right now, so look out for that. I'm going to have multiple courses on Jikuno martial arts, stretching, punching, kicking, whatever, grappling. It's going to incorporate everything from striking, grappling, to clinching. So be on the lookout for that. Like I said earlier, it's free. And without the way, see you next one. Be safe.